Hello everyone, I'm Marina and it's a Grammel School. For Blank Pro is a universal dust collector for manicure and pedicure, a preventative measure against professional diseases for nail technicians. It can be easily adjusted for a nail tech's convenience. A unique filter system provides the best possible air cleaning. To fully protect one's health from nail dust, allergens, bacteria, and odors. There are three dust extraction modes. The third one is strong enough to hold a smartphone. The embedded lighting has 168 LED lights and three levels of color temperature – cold, mixed, and warm. Four levels of brightness, as well as a UV disinfection lighting system used in operating rooms. The product comes with a two-year limited warranty. Now, let me show you how it works. Here are the nails that I need to transform today. My first thought was to do a nail fill. But then we agreed on doing new gorgeous nail extensions. I will show you the technique you've been asking for. French tips using dual forms and silicone stickers. In one of my previous videos, I was reviewing manicure products, and French tip nail stickers just happened to be one of them. There were many comments asking for a detailed video, so let's dwell on the technique today. I remove the coating leaving a thin layer left. I remove all the lifting and polish the nail surface. I push the cuticle with an orange stick and shape the free edge. There is no need to remove it, since I will be using dual forms. The free edge will help us to even out the product on the inside. It's a cool life hack to prevent pulling. We can file the nail out after sculpting to make sure that it is perfectly clean. I'm going to do a combined manicure. Using this red diamond drill bit. This technique is a form of art. To be honest, I love using dual forms because we can decorate the free edge and create a magnetizing design one can't help but adore. Using paper forms won't be that quick. One has to put them on properly and then sculpt a smile line, which is no mean fit for beginners. It's really time-consuming. I believe this technique will do for those who can't work with paper forms or have no idea how to sculpt a smile line. As for professional nail technicians, the techniques will probably take them the same amount of time. But let's just give this one a try. First up, I do a thin layer of a clear rubber base coat for proper bonding. We can decrease it after curing. Now it's time to fit the dual forms. We want to sculpt beautiful long nails, so I'm going for an almond shape. I think both this shape and length will be perfect for this nail art. I need to fit the form right. It should cover up the gross channel of the nail. Here are the silicone stickers. You can find the link to this particular product in the description box for my Wildberries manicure haul. You can check it out on my channel. So, what are these dual form stickers? It's an item. I believe that will be a proper word. It's a French tip nail sticker. As you may know, there are different smile line shapes. There are flat ones for short nails and elongated ones that I purchased for long nails. We need to make sure that this sticker doesn't wrinkle. Here's what I figured out. This particular form is size 9. I should use a sticker that is two times smaller, which is size 7. But it's all individual. We just need to make sure that it fits the form and doesn't wrinkle. It's a nail art time. I grab some black gel paint and paint the edge of the sticker for more definition. This step is entirely optional. We can do it after putting the sticker on, and that would be even quicker. It's not easy to paint it like this. 
it's pretty thin and flexible. Just cover it up with a base or top coat and put it on. Do you like my videos and want to learn more? Join us and get access to Sacramel's knowledge base. More than 20 video courses for the price of one, including a certificate. Our courses are available worldwide. Read the description for details. Here's another take on this. We can put the base coat right on the dual form and put the nail sticker on top. So, there are multiple takes on this particular technique. Choose the method that you're comfortable with. The stickers may lift while curing, so I gently press them on using tweezers. This entire process from fitting and putting the nail stickers on took me about an hour to complete, to blend it all out and do the design. Basically, we need a client's hand for the manicure part only. When we need to fit the forms, then we just put them on once we're done with the layout. As for the time in between, the client just has to sit around waiting for us to finish up. I believe we can do it beforehand, given that we know the exact nail size and shape. I suggest keeping a manicure journal. I can write something like this. Marina's ring nail is size 6. So, the next time I am to do Marina's nails, I know what dual forms I need. We can skip the fitting part and do the design beforehand. Just make sure to discuss it with your client first. In the meantime, I outline it with a darker gel polish shade. I put some shimmery top coat on the free edge to secure the decor elements some loose gold leaf. This particular one is tinted with blue, so it looks like a gasoline texture. So beautiful. I cure the design with a flashlight. Now I add some stained glass polish and paint the Smiling dark blue and the free edge turquoise. Cure in the lamp. The free edge won't be strong enough with the gel polish alone, so I cover it up with a clear gel. If you are not going to achieve a sheer stained glass look, just use a milky white or camouflage gel instead for a hand-painted effect. There are so many design options, so you can do whatever you want. Cure it in a lamp. Now we can remove the sticker. Make sure not to ruin the smile line at this point. I removed the leftover top coat from the nail sticker. We're almost done. Now I grab a small drop of a milky white sculpting gel. Enough for the nail bed. I turn the form over to see if there are any bubbles. I pop them with a thin brush. I love working with gels, since they are so easy to align. The nail surface will be smooth. All I have to do now is to put the form on the nail. I ask my model to assist me and cure it with a flashlight. Remove all the excess gel and put it back into the jar. That's it. Now we can add more gel and put the rest of the forms on. Since the design is complete, it's just a piece of cake. I leave a tiny gap near the cuticle line. It's trapezoidal, so putting the form too close may cause pulling as well as lifting the tip of the nail. Cure it in the lamp. Now it's the coolest part, when we can take the forms off and enjoy the perfect nail art. Let's touch up the cuticle zone and the free edge with a file, to finish it off. And fill in the cuticle zone. I decrease the surface and the area under the tip. Let's touch it up. I grab a blue carbide drill bit and smooth out the edges. Be careful at this point. There are many nail technicians who simply overfile the nail plate with the carbide drill bit. There is not too much to file, so make sure to keep the drill bit parallel to the nail plate. Filing the nails, I realized that the line has got a bit uneven on some of the tips. Look at the index nail. The center of the curve is way thicker. There is more gel paint. 
It's not that dramatic, but still noticeable. With paper forms, it's easier to notice such issues and fix them before curing. With silicone stickers, we can't be certain about the result, whether it's going to be even or not. The stickers do lift and wrinkle a bit, so there is a chance of ruining the line. But not too dramatically. Now that I have shaped the nails, let's build up the cuticle zone. I put a drop of gel and blend it out. Now I pull it down using a thin brush. This extra layer thickens the free edge, so it becomes less translucent. I love this effect. The nails look so slim and elegant. It's such a drastic difference compared to their initial shape. Let's just top them off. I must admit that these nails took me quite a while to sculpt. Sure, filming takes longer, but it's still a long process. Using paper forms, I would have spent the same amount of time. It's probably that it's still a new technique for me, so I need to practice more to make it more efficient. There is one more thing that I did not like. Despite using elongated nail stickers, somehow I got a square-shaped smile line. When technically, it has to be elongated for long, slim nails. Now it's more of an oval-shaped line. When I want it to be almond-shaped and elongated. Here's a final look. Let me just say, you have to see it off-camera. The nails are super thin and absolutely gorgeous. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Wishing you all beautiful nails. Good luck, bye bye.